This will be a hard challenge for all of the Excel users out there. So basically, I have a table which contains the team, the function, and the name. And I want an output that looks like one of those tables. Here I will have my teams and then my function and I want to fill out the names. And the difficulty here is that sometimes, like in this case for Red Bull driver, you have two people that are drivers for Red Bull. So you have Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez and they have to get aggregated with an end. So how to do this? Well, if you don't know, I'm going to show you three ways. One with Power Query, one with Formulas, and one with DAX. So let's start with the same data set and a clean sheet. The first thing we're going to do is convert this to an Excel table. So I'm just going to do Insert, Table, then my table has headers, OK. We're going to call this Raw Data enter and this is my table let's do power query first so i'm going to select my table i can just click anywhere in it and then i go to data i'll get this get and transform data tab if you don't see it it means your excel version is before 2016 but luckily there is a free add-in called power query so you can install it and use this i'm going to click on this one from table range and I'll get my data loaded into Power Query Editor. Now, one thing I could do or think of doing is to select my function column and then go to transform and do pivot column. So I can select the name, go to advanced options and do don't aggregate because I don't want to count or sum or anything. And I'll say, okay, problem with this is that you'll have errors. Why do you get errors? Well, when you have two drivers, like for example, Red Bull and driver, if I move this, you can see I have two of them, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. It will not be able to aggregate this. So let me just remove this step and let's go back. What we could do is group this data because I'm trying to group this and have them into one cell. So then I can do this pivot operation. So to group the data, I'm going to select my team, press control, keep control pressed, and then select my function column. Then I'll go to transform, group by, I get both of those columns, and then here I'm going to call it C1. I don't want any operations, so I want all rows, and then I'm going to press OK. As you can see here, I will get, for example, Red Bull and Driver, it will be a unique set. And I have a table. In this table, you can see the two drivers, Max and Sergio, under this column name. So what I want to do is transform this table into something else. So I'm just going to select it, go to Add Column, and then I'm going to do Custom Column. This custom column will be called C2. And here I have my column C1. So I'm going to say, do we open this brackets? Then we have C1, we close it, open another one, and here, if you remember, we had name, right? So that's the name of the drivers or whoever staff works there. We just do name, we type it in, we say OK, and we get a list now. So we converted this table, which has name, into this. Luckily for us, if you click on this one, you can extract values. And here you can select a delimiter. So I'm just gonna go for custom, space and space, and I'm gonna say, okay. There you go. You get everything concatenated whenever you have more than one. I don't need this column, so I'm just gonna select it, right click, remove, and then I have my three columns. So now if I select function and I go to transform, I can pivot my columns and select my column C2, advanced options, don't aggregate, OK, and I get the desired result. Given that I got this, I can just do now home, close and load, close and load to, 
existing worksheet and I'm gonna select this cell and I'll say okay. This is the result using Power Query. Let's do the same with formulas. So first thing I need here is the teams, right? So I'm just gonna do equal unique. This is a unique formula. I need to select my array. So let's select this and then we can just do this. We get the three teams. I need to do the same for the function. So what I'm gonna do is equal unique and then I select my function and then I close my parentheses and I get them, but I get them in this way and I want them in this way. So I can just add the transpose formula here and just close the parentheses and I get the header. The difficulty now will be to populate the data and especially in cases where you have more than one. So I can use a filter formula. I'll do filter, I need an array, so I'm gonna select the names, then comma, what do I include? I need to include whether the team and the function equal the team I have here on this row and the function I have on the column. So I'm gonna select this and select the second column equal, I select the team and I select the function and I need to use the dollar sign because I'm going to copy paste the formula and drag it. So in this case, I want the column to be fixed. So I'm going to put a dollar sign here and here I need the row to be fixed. So I'm going to put a dollar sign here, comma, if it's empty, I'm going to do two double quotation marks because I want it to be empty. I close the parentheses and I get the two drivers. The problem with that is that if I just drag this, you're going to have problems. You're going to have a spill problem because Sergio should be in this cell, right? So we can just add something here. We can just put text join. And then first of all, we have our delimiter. So we do double quotation space and space double quotation comma ignore empty cells. Yes. So we go for true and then comma, and then we have our text. So we just close this and we get the drivers. So I'm just gonna drag this like this. The problem, if I drag it this way, I'm not gonna get anything. So what do I do in this case? I can just copy it and go here and just do enter and it will work. Why I did this? Because here you have the data table. So if you move it like this by just dragging, it's gonna move the references and it's not gonna work. So as I said, what you need to do is you copy this, press shift, you select the rest, and then you press enter. Let's go into our third methodology, which is DAX. So I'm just gonna select this I'm going to go to power pivot and then I'm going to do add to data model. So here we added the data to my data model. I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to close it and then I need to add a pivot table. So I'm just going to do insert pivot table. Instead of doing it from table range, we're going to do it from data model. So we're going to put it here. We say, okay, and we get this raw data table. I can select my team in my rows. So that's my team, my function in my columns. So that's my function. And then I need to fill this data. If I put the name, the problem will be that I'm gonna get just a count. So that's not the right way to do it. But what I could do is add a measure. So I can come here, right click, add a measure. So we're gonna call it, for example, M1. And here we need to use a DAX formula. The right DAX formula is actually concatenate X. So I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger and I'm gonna write concatenate X. Under concatenate X, you need the table. So my table is actually raw data. So that's my table. Then I need an expression. What is my expression? My expression will be name, if you remember. This is the name. The name is in the table raw data. So I'm going to select this, 
this is the right column and then I need a delimiter so for the delimiter I'm gonna do double quotation space and space double quotation and then I'm done so I can check my DAX formula it is fine I will say okay I get the measure here I can just drag it and I will get the names the problem is I have this grand total I need to get rid of it so I can go into design grand totals off for rows and columns and then I am left with just the names which is what I want for this one you need to do a little bit of formatting so for example we can do this color then this white and then we can just have some grid lines so I want you to tell me in the comment section which methodology you prefer and you like the most there is no right or wrong answer everything works as long as you get the result and please as usual give a like to this video and subscribe to the channel